Welcome to Empire vs. Rampage and welcome back to my Teutonic Order campaign for the Medieval Kingdoms 1212 mod for Attila Total War. We're going to continue with the stuff from last time. Well, right now I've got two wars. One of them is pretty much almost done at this point in time. Uh, but now we're really pushing on pushing into the east now. Um, I should be okay over here in the west now. The Duchy of Brabant, I have been able to defeat them, and I gave this territory of Antwerp over to my allies. Uh, you guys might be trying to retaliate, but you are going to start taking attrition. I'll probably be able to start moving out of here next turn, and start making this army make my way back over here to the east. Right now, we're trying to see if I can hold Krakow. I've got reinforcements on the way, with you and you. And I've been able to reclaim uh, Gardenas back over here. So I have to try and see, because I hate that you just ran away after you liberated us. So we're going to try and see what we can do. I do need you to try and get... So we do need to improve the assassinate chance. Oh yeah, success chance there. Oh yeah. So I want to try and keep seeing if we can take out the leadership here. Um, I am going to try and have it so that this army here, I was trying to build up as another force anyways. So I'm going to try and have it so... I want to try and have continuous recruitment... Oh, the Ray's army would actually be pretty expensive right now, so I'm not going to be able to recruit much. Okay. Because I wanted to have it so, like, you guys start ferrying stuff around. Uh, basically, I'll have to have it so that once you get back up here, then we can start recruiting. I'm just hoping we can, like, push you guys back here. Honestly, I kind of need to possibly try and buy some time with uh, a strategic ceasefire if I can. Simply because I do not have my troops that I need over here right now at this point in time. Um... Session. Ah, uh, do my. That's no, just. Everheart? Wait. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, it's just, yeah, you're now my new faction leader. Um, and at least I do have a heir. Which is good. Oh, we have some loyalty right now, too. Oh, my God. Why is there so much crap going on here? Oh, yeah. Unlawful territory with Antwerp stuff. We just. We gave it over to someone that is lawful, though. Oh, my God. Okay. That's just from all me retaking my stuff. Okay. So, who is my new heir at the moment? So. My new heir is... Okay, it is Eberhard. It's my son, who's currently six. He's doing okay for himself. Um, and I already started to try and deal with you. Uh, and I have to get you some uh, loyalty as well. I would probably try and say... I can actually have you try and do this. So let's have you try and secure loyalty on him. Because you should still have quite a bit there from that marriage. Which is kind of funny that... Uh, I'm at war with your faction right now, and uh, you're still here with me. Okay, but for right now, we'll just have to see like what's going to happen during the enter. Because I, I'm hopeful that because I have an army here, you guys will give me time. I have at least one more turn, so next turn I start taking attrition. They might try and starve me out, but also they might try and assault this turn because you're here. So worried about this. So my king has to give a final stand. This is going to be interesting. We'll see what he can do. I've got 1,300 guys total. I do have some reinforcements here, which is good. But this is still going to be difficult. We'll see what we can do. This means I'm probably going to have to have it so that those reinforcements I was bringing in, I will probably have to have it so they gather together into a full stack army instead of trying to rush over here willy-nilly with just small amounts of units. Oh, this is the one where they could just go around the... God. Yeah, so I'm going to hope they don't realize they can just walk around here. Um, they're probably going to be attacking from the north. Uh, let's see. I might try and actually see if I can hold the city center. Because at the moment right now, they have so many javelins, so many infantry units. I need to focus on whittling them down and like, I, I need choke points. I, I just have to hope that the AI is going to be stupid and doesn't realize they can just literally walk in through this bridge. <laughs> as long as they uh, realize don't realize they can just walk across, I think we'll have a better chance. It just depends on like what we're going to do here. So, I'm sorry, Deiter. You, my new king, you'll have to fight to the last man. He'll try and do what you can. I, I just need reinforcements over here. I, I just need to get reinforcements over here, and I will be able to start pushing these guys back. Like, their armies are not too crazy. It's just they attacked me when I was not in position. That's the main concern. So now we have to just like, hey, I'm going to start making my way back over here with that other army of mine. They will get over here uh, in, in, relatively soon, hopefully. Um, I, I don't think I'll have to worry about the Brabant because those guys, their army should be just taking attrition. So at the moment, they are all to the south of me. So let's see. So if I just... Oh, I can put a barricade here. That's something at least. Honestly, I think... So I will put my mounted artillery piece over here. 
Uh, I want to try and focus down anything. It'd be this tower right there. So I'm going to put you there. I'll try and focus on this, ta on this tower. And then what we're going to do is I want to have it so we have four units of infantry. Not a lot. We've got you guys. Let's see. Crossbows and archers. Which one of you has longer range? So you guys have a range of... Where is it? Why can't I see your goddamn range? Why can't I see your range? Okay. Well, I'm just going to have you guys get set up here. Because we want to be able to open fire into this section. And basically, I'm going to hope that they can get... Uh, we can just funnel them down this way. Because they'd have to walk all the way around here. Okay, so... I'm going to not have the barricade there. I'm going to have to barricade... Here. I want to make sure they don't walk around this side. This side they can't get across unless they go all the way around here. So what we'll do is... You guys have sword, shield wall. You guys have your spear formation. So does this one... Does it give missile block chance? This one also... They both get the same amount of missile block chance. So I think with how many... Infantry units they have... We'll probably want to try and have it so that for right now... Let's do just... One of you here, one of you here, and then I'll have two of you here. Uh, actually, I think the javelin should probably be there, actually, now that I think about it. Crossbow's right there, javelin's here, and then I'm going to have the spears in the back, just in case they do try and somewhat flank around here somewhere. This is at least blocked, so that's, well, no, I could put that, I should block that spot. This spot's easier to defend, if anything, so I, I will block this spot. That way you guys can just kind of, like, chill over here. I The reinforcements should be coming from this position. Which is not what exactly I want. Okay. Well, I'll have you here. And here. And then my general. Stand pretty! And I'll start the battle. So you immediately start trying to, as soon as you can, I need to try and target this one. Because that's the best unit they've got. I want to try and see if we can do whatever damage we can to destroy these. Yep, the reinforcements are coming from the north. That is not what I want. Let's try and hit these spears. Oh, are you guys going to go around that side? Oh my god, you fucking are. Wait, are you just going to drop your stuff? They are dropping all of their equipment. Okay. You want to try and shoot the general then? They dropped all of their equipment. Why? Is there a wall section that's broken? No. <laughs> what are you doing? They're not even like going towards the gates. Yeah, you just pick your own targets, just shoot whoever you can. Like, I can just get some good damage right now. Like, hey, fuck off. I'm just gonna hit them with some artillery pieces here. Because for right now, I don't know what they're doing. Like, what are you... You're taking a lot of shots. I'm gonna hope then, like, if they're trying to regroup their allies, they might focus on just this side? I, I don't know what the hell they're doing, but I, at the moment right now, I'm okay with it. Okay, so they do seem to be trying to attack from this angle. Like this, you know, I still don't know what the hell you're doing. But at the moment, they are all focusing their attention over here. So I'm going to adjust. Because they're not going for any ta any gates or anything like that. Towers are getting free damage. Like, I've killed only seven people, but like the towers, they've been walking like right up next to them. I'm going to try and go around the side. Because they might realize they can just go for the barricade. They're not going for the gates. Are they going to try and go for the barricade spot? They might. No, oh, not you. Are you going to try and actually damage the gates? That's not what you're actually trying. Are you actually trying to damage the gates? At the moment, I don't see any damage happening. Still, I'm going to get my... Yep, they are damaged. Them. Okay. So, you're doing that. They're kind of committing to that. Okay, well, at least I'm, I'm moving my skirmishers here. You guys are moving over here for right now, because if I can get any free shots in on these units, I'm gladly going to take that. 
And at least for right now, they're taking their sweet ass time to try and get over here, which I am okay with. Okay, they backed off the gates around here again. They are going for this spot right here, it looks like. They are bringing troops over this way, so I'm going to readjust. They've wasted 10 minutes of the battle already. They've now, at this point in time, let's see, I've lost 8 guys. They've lost almost 100. So I'm going to get set up over here on this barricade. Because if, if they want to fight on a bridge, I am, I'm well okay with that. Like, if, if they want to try and attack over here, I'm uh, very much it would make your way over here. And then also, catapult you again. Keep trying to just hit occasional, like, infantry units that are making their way over here. Like, hey, I can get occasional kills with you guys and do a little bit of damage there. If any all, like, the balance power is, like, going up in my favor because you guys keep walking near my towers and just taking a lot of damage. I am debating if I want to keep you guys around here, if I should move you, because if they break this gate down, that is an issue for us. Yep, they're making their way over here. The general's already dead because he's just running into my javelins. Oh, that's fucking beautiful. Like, I... I will be really happy if we are able to somehow hold this. Because at this point in time, they're, they're trying to come up this way. They're just being shot at by javelins and destroyed. These guys, they should have used their siege towers. Uh, they've lost almost 200 guys now at this point. They might be able to take out the other animals generally just bought a guard right now as well. Because you guys are, yeah, just throwing javelins straight at them. Good amount of damage. Because if they ever break the barricade, we'll just try and push forward a little bit past the barricade. And then hold the bridge. Because for right now, though, they're like walking straight up in here and I'm just able to shoot them. Honestly, I think I don't want to jinx it. But, at the moment right now, I am surviving because of a fucking miracle and the AI being stupid. Well, they're just going to keep wandering around in front and not actually try and make their way over here. Uh, I'm I am going to move my skirmishers. I'm going to move you guys, striking you into position to try and just keep throwing things and doing as much damage as we possibly can. Because at the moment, we're just waiting at the timer because they are the aggressors. Uh, there's no reason for me to go on the offensive against them. Towers are doing some good damage, though. Like, slowly but surely, we are killing their army with the towers. And if I can just get my skirmishers in position, then we can try and get a little bit more damage. Primarily, like, this is this is the biggest area. Kind of, like, right over here, too. Although, again, you guys might, like, actually regroup and properly advance on me. But for the most part, they keep kind of going back and forth. Oh, they're about to just start doing something over here. Okay. I'm moving my forces up, because these are the Axemen now. They will actually destroy the gates. Okay, so you guys need to run over here. Run over here, guys. Come on, book it over here. I've got my guys making their way over here. Like, if anything, all their generals are dead. So that is something extremely beneficial for us. Yeah, crossbows are in position. Start trying to open fire. You guys are also in position, but I now need to actually adjust you to get over here. As long as they don't use their axemen to try and break down the gates, that's pretty good for us. I'm hopeful that the fact that since they lost their general, their men's morale is going to be pretty bad. So I can almost use that to my advantage to try and kill some of these guys if they ever break the gates down properly. Which at the moment, they're kind of not. But yeah, like the morale, especially since most of these guys are exhausted, that's really going to hinder their morale. So that might benefit us if they fully commit to this fight finally. Yep, here they come. Okay, I'm trying to get you guys into position. So you guys start going into shield wall. So you guys, like, right there. You guys spear wall behind them. You guys... Oh, wrong one. It's supposed to be you. Yeah, because here they come. Now this is when we got to fight to the last man. I'm going to hope that because we've done a lot of damage... Uh, to, well, their generals are both dead. We might be able to do something here. My general, uh, I want to have you... Hey, get on over here as well. Because I can have you at least war cry to reduce the morale. Yeah, just hold out as best as you can with shield wall. Because if we can hold this spot, like my crossbows, you guys doing good damage. Like they lost like 500 guys. We can just hold this point and take advantage of the fact that their morale is really bad. I might be able to hold this. Technically, I wish I could flank a little bit, but I'm not going to really easily do that. But no, oh no, some of them are routing. Oh, look at that. Yes, yeah, some are routing there. Yeah, that unit shattered. And we get more units like that, that'd be beautiful. Uh, keep trying to... Let's see, so if I keep targeting units that are 
wavering with the scream. That might be... Oh, like, if I ever see you guys doing that... Because, come on, we can win this. We can fucking win this. We just need to shatter them. We need to take advantage of the fact that the morale's bad right now. It's like, my skirmishers, as long as you guys are firing, we can do this. Javelins could get a little bit closer, possibly. And you guys... Yeah, the more men we can shatter, the better. Come on, I'm really banking on that. I'm really banking on the morale being absolute ass. And we shattered the army that way. Because I'm going to keep spamming the war cry. I'm going to keep trying to target units that are uh, like this guy. Anybody that's wavering. And try and see if I can get you to just keep shattering like this. And if you guys can just keep like firing into this fucking blob here. Like this blob is a massive blob. If you can just keep hitting into that spot. Which I'm just going like, to adjust you guys like... Here... And here, you guys, like so, and so, oh, come on, just please, like there, okay, archers too, archers are actually kind of fine as they are right now here, um, oh, actually, let's see, so, that's just, that does have reduce morale, so that is the, okay, I'm actually moving my air archers over here, can't use the scream just yet. But you guys are holding well. Like, they've lost almost a thousand guys now. We just need to keep routing them. If we can route this entire army, we can do this. Uh, some of their units are firing. Um, I would like you guys to try and focus that unit down if you can. No, it, no it's not worth it. Shoot this blob. Shoot this blob. Any blob you can see, focus fire. My lord can almost scream again, so I'm going to try and scream at some of these javelins that are uh, wavering. Yeah, because right now, this is doing well. I am hopeful that my air archers, if you guys get in position, and I can start f doing fire arrows in here, because it has that morale penalty. Yeah, the rate of fire is slower and everything like that. No, that's yeah. Race beef, space reload is... Yeah, it is slower. It's like twice as fast, twice as slow. But... The morale penalty is the biggest thing we really want. So I want you guys to start opening fire. Hopefully you guys can fire nicely into this uh, section. Because I need you guys to start trying to hit this area. Because at the moment right now, they've lost about a thousand guys. They've lost about a thousand. My men are holding the line as best they can. How many kills do you guys have? 74, 4. Uh, that's my javelins. That's okay. Archers, are you just struggling to shoot in here? Let's see. I'd like you to try and focus on units that are wavering. Just unload in there, guys. Come on, I need to see those fire arrows. Because, again, if we can break the entire enemy army, that's how we win this day. You guys not going to fire? No, you're not. I wonder if I need to send you over to the side here. Because these guys are firing nicely. These guys are firing nicely into the enemy army. They're slowly losing troops. I haven't seen many men route recently, but I know it's possible due to the fact that you guys are so exhausted right now. You're starting to break a little more. Also, I just realized how pointless it is to use this. So it, it reduces morale by one. Morale on their units is like 80. <laughs> so, like, it's like pointless to do that. Uh, uh, you guys are being shot a little bit. I want to get my general out here to go deal with those guys. I think I'm going to have him run back over here. I'm going to have him run through the gates. Loop around. And then I might be able to try and flank. Because, like, my archers are now kind of firing in here. More of them are starting to waver. That's what we want to see. I just don't like how some of you guys are being shot at. Because it's, this angle is just good for you guys to actually shoot us. But, like, we're holding here. Javelins, you guys are out of ammo. But just kind of get on in here in melee to support. It's like right there, there, and there. And just keep firing into this section. Like, number-wise... Let's see. They've almost lost about 1,300 men. My skirmishers are still firing, doing some good damage. You guys are seemingly firing. You kind of are. I might, I might have to put you back here, because that's where you guys are getting the best angles right now. But yeah, for right now, just get my general's bodyguard. You're going to make your way over here. Ignore these two. I feel like we're just gonna yeah, run around 
Because I want to try and hit these guys. If I can flank them, I might be able to break them. Because at this point in time, I think we can shatter this entire enemy army. Like, look at this. Look at how uh, ba uh, just bad they are doing with the morale. Because they exhausted themselves, that's making it really good for us. Yeah, some of them are still confident, but crossbows are still doing some good damage. Lighting's a little fucked up here for some reason, don't know why. Probably the same, but like, how are we doing damage-wise? So like, you got 167, 142, 55, 54, 105, 10, uh, 126, 135, 48. You guys haven't even had to fight yet. Javelin's got about 60 to 80 kills total. That's not bad. Like, I'm starting to see more of them run. It's at 2,000. I almost outnumber them. My general's just about here. So, again, you're going to go around this way. Like, if I can see any, like, individual units that are wavering, I might just charge them. But honestly, like, yeah, your, your main goal right now is just to loop around and go see if we can deal with those skirmishers that are shooting us and then see if we can cause a chain route. Oh, look at that. The chain route. You can just see the giant fucking line of dudes. I love it. So, my cap, I'm actually going to try and have it, so I want to make sure and guarantee that we get as many of these guys to die as possible. So I'm going to try and have him specifically actually start trying to focus on fighting these guys, basically see if he can capture more of them. Because they're running, yeah, but at the moment right now, I, I don't feel a need for him to specifically make his way over here to try and uh, see if he can just cause a chain route, because we already have so many of them running. And I want to see if I can capture all these guys. God, this is going to be like a, an amazing victory for my new king. Because look, he just became my king. And now he's going to absolutely fucking rout the forces of uh, these guys. Because I just love that. Come on, I want to get over here. Come on, a little faster, man. <laughs> you need to hurry up. We've almost shattered the entire army. We need to do this before we shatter them all. Because like, balance power-wise, now I technically outnumber them. Because so many of them... That's easy to do this. Just it's, it's more cinematic to just see the entire wave of troops just running away from us. And I'm gonna have my king capture every single fucking one of you traitors fucks. See, so yeah, I make your way over here, run on up here, just get in the line of uh, in their path, and see if you just kill them all, basically. Because I might be able to. I want to guarantee more of these guys like actually die. I don't want them to just rout and then just be pushed back from the city and then start taking winter damage and attrition. Like, yeah, we can do that. That's no fun. So yeah, we gotta kind of get them before they go to this farm spot. So try and like go like right here. Oh, are they deviating? Oh, they're deviating. They know what I'm trying to do. <laughs> How dare you? I need to capture all of you. Yeah, try and go over here. Yeah, they're deviating. Because I want to capture every single one of you guys if I can. And there we go. They gave up. I, like I said, I am running down as many of them as possible. I want to try and see if this is going to actually help us guarantee that they will properly all die. Because at the moment, my general has been able to get like 100 and something kills. I'm just like pushing them towards the river and trying to run as many of you down as possible. One of my guys broke, but he should survive since he is... Oh, they were trying to actually like run across this thing. Come on, that kind of groups them up a little bit more, makes it a bit easier. But yeah, I'll I'll run them down. I'm going to try and see how many of them we can get and if this is actually going to uh, matter. I think it technically does, because if I can get more of you guys captured, that is just really good for us. Okay, I think that's enough. I was able to get 500 kills with my general's bodyguard. So, they had 1,700 guys remain. So I was able to take out about half of the enemy army. Good job, Deiter. I was worried there for a second that you were going to die and I was going to lose my new king. But nah, you fucking proved me wrong and you kicked it their ass. Love it. Absolutely love it. And I, I got to keep my units. My garrison basically took no damage. It's only you two that really took damage. Um, I need money right now. I also kind of want to do the replenishment, but it wouldn't get us that much. Let's do the uh, ransom and release captives. I need the cash. And now you guys are going to take attrition during the winter, too. You're going to keep backing off towards Venice. I wonder if that's a strong enough defeat These people uh, not the one, that I can convince them to give me a ceasefire until I have everybody in position. Okay, so you guys lost against that army. 
Because again, for right now, I need to be able to get more troops over there. So we got a worthy bride. Um, no, that's a really bad one. Um, I think I can finish these guys off without an issue here. Was oh, there another thing? There was. Uh, greasing the wheels. So, oh, did she die? Uh, yeah, let's do the large bribe. And unforeseen complications. Mm. Power went down a little bit. Okay, but yeah, now let me try and get rid of this army here. I think we should just be able to like finish you guys off proper. Or just push you guys back. I don't feel like I need to chase you. Eh, you guys are beat up. I should help my allies. Yeah, let's push on in here. I think this will be fine. I shouldn't lose anybody. I hope. Yeah, nobody, nobody lost. And again, because the... I, I do have to keep in mind, it only will matter to the Pope if they are of a Catholic faction, if I'm rancing them off. That's the only time it'll actually get me uh, some decent positives there. So for right now, now you'll need to start making your way over to the east. I am curious, though, if that's going to be a strong enough win for us that they'd consider giving me a ceasefire. Because otherwise, I have enough movement. Oh, no, I don't. Let's see. I just need my time. So if you'll let me bring over my other forces... No, still low. Okay. But I can get some more men over here. Let's see. Let me make sure I know where you guys are. Can and good and go. So if you go here, yeah, you guys go there. So try and get over here. I feel like you could hit Vilnius right now. I don't have a. I, again, I'm gonna stop this. I'm not gonna be able to finish that in time. I have no garrison here, anyways. So I'm gonna save that money. If I abandon Gardenos, though, let's go straight for Kiev. Because if I go over here and there's like nobody around here, I can take the city. Ideally, I want them to go to Gardenos. Don't go to Vilnius. Go to Gardenos. Go here. If you go there, if they go to Vilnius, that's okay. I'm still converting this area, so if they take this area, it's going to be pissy for them. But yeah, because like this is converting uh, right now. Oh, actually. That would be cheeky. You have a garrison. And what I can do is I'm just going to take this land back, basically. Because I can, if I wait 20 turns, I can just annex my vassal back. So I'm going to do this to make it so that Vilnius can defend itself. And then that should guarantee... Yeah, you should then want to try and go back to Gardenus. Or if you go over here, you, there is a garrison. Small garrison, but a garrison. And then I'll try and go to Kiev. And then basically in just like 20 turns, I'm going to annex Lithuania back in. That will be fine. That works perfectly. Uh, okay, so then you did get a rank up here. Um, let's get you the more movement range thing. So have you grab that. And then I do have a population surplus over here. Which, this area here... Let's see. I do need to double check on... Lester Poland's pissed off. That's because you guys are just sieged, so I'm not surprised. So repair everything here. You guys should be fine. Um, this area's pissed off because I with it left the area. Um, this area's struggling a little bit, but you're doing better. Okay, so I actually do have a decent amount of stuff. So then we have to go back to Pomerania. Again, this area is one I want to make into like a military production facility. Um, so for right now... I want to get armor upgrades, which also, doesn't that give me, um, oh, that's the joust, oh, that's a different building I haven't seen before, Ooh. so this is the, the workshop, I kind of want to get that, because then if I do make this an area we're recruiting from, melee defense training for cavalry units, charge bonus, oh, I want to get that, also gets public order. I can't get it right now, though. Um, I need this research first. So I need that research first. Otherwise, there is the whole blacksmith we could do. Just give Squalor. Because this area I don't intend to make a lot of money from. I intend to have this be one of my best recruitment facilities. 
So for right now, let's see, public order wise, you have plus nine. I think we're gonna like I'll get the basic building of the jousting thing. Cause I wanna grab that. Cause I I like the bonuses for the cav. Training for cav. I wonder if that allows me to like retrain the cav units to get those bonuses. Cause that'd be a really good way to make my cav disgusting. Yeah, I think we should get the muster grounds here. Let's see, muster grounds, black. I want to get the blacksmith. And I'm probably going to get like one more thing of food. Is that enough? Like this will give, this gives you public order. I don't have the sanitation building in here though too. But I don't necessarily need it as long as the other areas have more sanitation, or have the sanitation building too. So no, I, I think we're going to go with that. I just really want to emphasize on training here for you guys. So do that. I think I might as well get you guys the better baker so there's just more public order and more uh, sanitation around here. And then battle report. I love that we won that battle. I'm so happy about that. that I was so worried about starting this recording for today because of that battle. I'm like, oh, I know this is going to happen. When's it going to come? But yeah, Duchy of Vermont is dead. And then the papal, uh, papacy liked that. What are we at right now? Um, we are at 10. Honestly, I actually feel like there's... I, I know I can ask for money from the Pope. I feel like there's no reason to. It's actually better for me to just let me have that keep going up higher and higher. Because it just provides me more public order for the bonus of Catholic Christianity. Which is amazing for me. That's exactly what I wanted to. Okay, so now at this point in time, I now get to have it. So first and foremost, you go over here. Drop those troops back off. You then run back over this way to be able to kind of continue recruiting and get more troops. Same thing with you. Drop off more men. There we go. So now we've got a little bit more. Yep, just keep kind of turning back around because you're just going to keep ferrying troops around. Now, what we can do, though, is hopefully Kiev is vulnerable. Yes, it is. Garrison. That does look like their possible king there. But hey, let's do this. Let's take Kiev. If we take Kiev, they are now going to then have no territory, so they'll start taking attrition on all of these armies. Uh, these two are already pretty beat up, given what I did to them, so we won't have to worry about them as much. Uh, this army, though, uh, again, keep trying to make my way back around, and we'll see what we can do. So let's first start off with this Battle of Kiev, as I, I was really worried about this campaign today, and I love how we turn this around with one battle that was so in our favor that it absolutely kicked their ass. But now, we can try and see if... Uh, we should be fine here. I, I don't think there's going to be too much of an issue here. I've got a little bit of damage on some of my infantry, but I've got artillery pieces, so I'm pretty happy about this. They have four units of skirmishers. Um, let's see. So, I think... Uh, I'm trying to remember this layout. Which one this is. Uh, I'm trying to think where I want to attack. I want to attack on the west. Or maybe on the north? I think the north, maybe. Depends on if they have any barricades. Because you need to break down the wall section, get my men to rush on in. Uh, let's get rid of this fog, please. Snowing, let's try and get rid of the snow. Oh, damn it, it's dry. That's fine, okay, it's still dry. Okay, so the layout here. There's towers here. We've got the elevation advantage there. This area, they don't have the elevation advantage as much. There's a tower there. This area here, they can't put troops up here, so actually, I'm kind of tempted to hit this spot. Because they can't put troops over here. It's kind of a tight squeeze. Uh, or we should just go here. There's a little bit more space, at least. More space. Oh, they could put a barricade right there, though. Ooh. You know, because they shouldn't be able to shoot. Yeah, they can't get good units close enough around here to shoot me. It's like they'd be able to set up like around here, around here. But I think I could try and hit that spot. It'd make it so if they're also attacking us. I mean, if they're defending against us. The area where all their troops are blobbed up is going to be right here. So I think we'll do that. I think we'll attack from this section. Get all my cav grouped up here. I might have my cav, actually. Uh, you guys can maybe still try and break down this gate section. Possibly. I'll have you just stay here for right now. Infantry, group up. And then we can have it so my crossbows. So start deployment. Yeah, because if they're going to be all over here, so try and break down the gates. It's going to be a really condensed area here. I see one of their archers over there. And if anything, this makes it so, hopefully, I'll be able to easily break through here. 
if we can take Kiev without any issues, then I will be able to very easily just ignore those other armies they have. Okay, gates and towers are destroyed. I'm going to start moving my crossbows up. I'm going to try and see if my catapults, my trebuchets actually, uh, can try and break this gate over here. Because if you guys can try and break that gate, I might be able to like flank with my dudes. So for right now, we'll start moving forward with my infantry and my crossbows. Because at this point in time, now that we've gotten uh, broken one section down, and they've lost like 50 guys, I'm now outnumber them about 2 to 1. So if I can just let my crossbows freely open fire into these guys, we'll be able to easily get some good damage on them, and then we can kind of soften them up before we start trying to really push up this section. Yep, off to a good start. So we're just trying to keep whittling them down. They've now lost about 100 guys now at this point in time, so keep firing there. I'll have you guys soften them up a little bit. I do think I'll have my axes just casually start walking forward. So, like, they can keep getting what damage they can for right now. Get you guys a little bit closer so your angles are a little bit better. It's like right there, right there. Uh, trebuchets, you need to be careful. Kind of angle a little bit better over here. So I don't want you guys getting too close, but I do want you to start trying to break down that gate there. I'm going to view some archers, so you guys now rush forward. Yeah, now that you can see them. Rush on up. Start pushing forward. Yeah, you guys just start trying to unload into whoever you can. Yeah, some of the guys are already breaking. Beautiful. Just swarm over them. Yeah, Axemen, you're doing some really good damage to those spearmen there. Keep that up. Crossbows, if you can, try and focus on those Roos Hunters of theirs. Trebuchets, almost in position. Yeah, axes are already doing an amazing amount of damage. Let's just have you guys. Yeah, keep pushing forward into the archers. I think my crossbows can just move up a bit. Like right there, right there. Infantry, keep pace with you guys. I don't even know if we're going to really need the try and break over this section. I'm just doing it just in case, so why not? My cab over here too, basically. Because I think you're almost at the best angle to try and start shooting that. This spearman is still alive. Yeah, try and finish him off, because my axes are just going for their archers. Because if I can just get you guys to just take out the skirmishers in melee, that'd be ideal. Then we don't have to worry about them, although they have a couple of you guys all over the place. You guys should make your way up too. You like try and go over there. You guys are trying to yeah get in melee with this one because they had four units of skirmishers. So we just need to take out yeah there's three right here. There we go. So yeah, infantry are almost in here with the, the swordsmen. Uh, these skirmishers just need to finish them off now. And then I think my trebuchets. Let's now have you guys start trying to break down this gate. So start trying to break that gatehouse down. And then. Crossbows, I'm gonna get you guys to start making your way in here as well. So I'll probably have you guys almost get ready to try and focus on the general's bodyguard to try and snipe him. Because we're gonna ignore this section. I don't care about those units over there. They only have uh, they've lost half their army already. So we just care about killing these guys off. Then going after their general's bodyguard. Because these skirmishers in melee, they're gonna get slaughtered by my axemen. So I'm not going to worry too much about you guys. You just kind of get them to shatter. Yeah, if they kind of push back, that's okay. Do take these towers out while you're over here, though, because might as well. Like, we can quickly capture this while we're right here just to get these towers destroyed. There we go. Now, let's just make my way up. Make my way up here. They have a barricade, though, here, too. So they do have a barricade. So yeah, you guys, axes, just move up this way. Crossbows, just start trying to shoot the general's bodyguard, and eventually I'll try and have you guys go after the barricade. Swordsmen, uh, let's have you guys go take this spot so you can get the morale boost for uh, my troops as opposed to theirs. Okay, they're gonna just sit on top of the barricade, making themselves really easy targets for me. I will not destroy the barricade until this cab unit is dead because why the hell would I move up? I have no reason to. I can just get my guys up here in position ready, and then when we're ready to break down the barricade, we will. Because they, they actually trapped their general's bodyguard up here. He can't run. He can't do anything. Perk our crossbows. Let's adjust you guys a little bit. You guys have a better angle to shoot him. And you're not all standing on top of each other. It's like right there, right there, right there. It's literally just shooting fish in a fucking barrel. I love it. Although technically he could like run down this way. But I love how the pathing won't let them do that for some reason. They're so committed to just going this way. That they don't realize, oh wait, we could do something different. Thank you. They got some spearmen coming on up. Let's have my swordsmen stop you guys. You guys can try and do that. Ah, what the fuck is my trebuchet doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Please stop. Please stop being idiots. Okay, again, crossbows. Just keep focusing on the lord. 
Oh, my sword's been just focused down this spearman here. You can easily do that. I could actually send my guys around the backside, but I, I want to just finish off the Lord here because he's really easy to just shoot right now. Please just don't kill my trebuchets. Yeah, there you go. Did they actually destroy the gate? They did. So I actually have my cav running over here and try and take out that archer. Uh, the general's dead? Yep, the general's dead now. Okay, so axes, just break down this barricade. Then, they literally have just that one archer. Uh, practically. They don't have much else. Hey, you guys can get on there. Start trying to break down the gates. Bear, oh, there we go. Beautiful! Cave is now ours. Now, at this point in time, this force will be destroyed. I'll be able to take the city. And now, the other armies they have are all going to start taking attrition. Which is perfect for us. So now what we need to do is just need to prevent them from taking more territory. And if I can, I will try and offer them a ceasefire, technically. Because if they accept that, they'll start just taking attrition and dying. And I'll be able to just rebuild the stuff that I took from them. So let's occupy this. I could also subjugate that, but I don't really want to. Not over here, at least. This this land I all want for myself. Um, so let's repair everything here, because we're going to have to convert everything. And I know this stuff over here. Okay, so get rid of that. And get rid of that. Uh, oh, actually, I should grab the armor first. There we go. Um... Because now that I remember this area here, the fertility... Yeah, this is going to be a really good area for food. So we're going to want to go for areas that have really high fertility or bonuses for food in this area. But hey, we've now got Kiev. All these armies are now going to start taking attrition. Uh, this area is a little upset. We try and turn back around at some point. You've got more troops now. I need to get some more men in this army. You're over here. I'm just going to hope you don't attack Vilnius. Are you at war technically with them? You technically are. You guys are technically at war. So they could try and attack this territory. I mean, I hope they don't. If they do, though, I, I have time to try and bring you over this way. Also, actually, I should force march you. Force march you to get you over there a little bit faster. Because I don't want to take that long. Oh, that guy died. Oh, that was the one that was being... Yeah, that was the one that was being a, 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 a bitch. So now he's gone. Um, I still need to get your loyalty up. Your wife doesn't have enough. Uh, I don't have enough on anybody else. You've got a lot of points. You've got a lot of points. Part of the loyalty issue is the fact that you have more loyalty than me. Well, I can just try and use up your points because you're actually on my side. Can I stick your loyalty on yourself? No, I can't. Um, okay, you need to keep trying to get a better wife. Do I have anybody? Okay, you can try and do this. Try and secure loyalty on your brother. And then he, to try and make it so he is not as uh, pissy. Um, wait, what? I want to... Hey, you're trying to secure loyalty on him. You're trying to secure loyalty on... No. What? That's, what I'm trying to have you... not... That's not what I'm trying to have you do. Okay, what the hell? Let me do an action with him. I should be able to have you secure loyalty on him. But then he also does... No, okay, I can't have him do an action while he's being trying to be secure to loyalty. Okay, that's fine. Next turn, I'll have him start spamming his points. Because I want to have it so that he will reduce his influence. So that he is lower than mine. Uh, I should double check one thing, though. Uh, yep, that's the reason why. I can't change that. Uh, do I have one myself, though? I do. So, there's nothing I can do with that. Um, I should also try and have it so... Ooh, I want that research rate. Actually, no, I should put that on somebody else. I want the integrity, because you are companion in army. I should put that onto you, possibly. Oh, you already have one. You already have one there. You've got the integrity. You are also a general. You're a governor, so you should have the one that gives you the research rate. And then I've got another one of these, so I might as well put that on one of my sons as well. Or my brothers as well. They are making their way back here. I don't think you can actually attack this area. So I don't think I'm going to try and push you back. Worthy Bride, yes. Definitely take her hand. And let's see, so greasing the wheels. So let's do a small bribe. It's it's something. It's, it's a small start. Gets your loyalty a little bit higher. And then what we're going to do, to try and have you keep just getting more uh, to reduce your influence, we're just going to have you spam things. So... 
let's have you, let's see, so diminished popularity, adopt, divorce, embezzle funds. I actually kind of want to have you do embezzle funds, honestly. We could get some more control, but let's have you try and embezzle funds and see how much money you can get us. Because that's, you have a lot of points. Now, this army, yep, just going to push them back. You're just going to keep taking attrition every turn, so I don't really care what's happening to you. So all these armies I don't have to worry about. I do need to get over there, though. So you try and demolish these. Kiev, I am going to start converting this stuff when I have the money for it. Uh, I don't have the money for it right now. I almost wonder if I want to put another one of these over here. Because I will need to do this if I want to increase the military order cap. And also, that's like far enough along that Kiev has got a good population, right? Yeah, Kiev has got a good population. I could make Kiev into a into a military production facility, possibly. Tempted. Very tempting. Um, brick maker. Hmm. Is that no? You have a glass maker for your resource. I'm almost tempted for that though, actually. All of these provinces reduces the maintenance cost by reduction. Hmm, not bad. Not bad. I know we're going to want the uh, the baker, though, because that's just a really good building. Especially due to the fact that we're going to be having... Well, this doesn't have a lot of money from animal husbandry. But we're still going to try and have a lot of food going around here. So get this. Convert that to the wheat field. And then I will have it so that this one... I have to not convert for right now. We don't have the money for it. And then I think for right now, it's just you guys... Let's see, this area will allow me to recruit some stuff. So you go there. You go up here, because again, we need to still slowly try and get this a full stack. And then my other army. You're just going to take a while, but you need to just start slowly making your way over here the best you can. Because once you can get over here, we can properly finish these guys off. In the meantime, though, I'm just going to delay them. That That's my main goal, so I want to try and delay them. I do need to get over here again, though, because this area is really pissed off. I think technically, actually, what I can do is uh, go over here. Just get you guys over here. Because it doesn't matter. Vilness will be fine. We just need to buy time with Vilness. Because you guys, it's just another... Um, should be like 18 turns, I think. And then I can annex you. I'm not going to give you any more territory. So it won't take long to annex you since you have one territory. Okay, they're now sieging me around guarding us again. Um, I do think at least over here, again, I can just push you back. You're just continuing to take attrition. These guys are as well. What's the garrison look like here? Okay, still pretty bad. I would say for right now, Kiev. It's a little pissed off. Uh, I want to be able to push you guys back, but I can't right now. Although I wonder. What do you guys think about a ceasefire? Low. What if I offer you money, though? I will gladly offer you all my money right now if I'll give you a ceasefire. No. Okay. So then, you guys here, let's see. So, uh, I want you to get into a territory so you're not going to take attrition. Otherwise, we need to get you to here. And then I can put you into Fortified Stance. You'll be able to recover a little bit. I think Kiev right now. I want to push out of here, but if I push out of here, you guys are going to be very pissed off. Um, Because I can get to... Here. Let's do that. Because I think I should get up here, be in Fortify Stance. You guys, I was going to have to go here. I'm going to have you go this way instead. Because then you can just try and help out with Kiev instead. Because this area now doesn't matter what it's public order at. is because you guys are it's pissed off anyways. Uh, because they're being sieged. And then here, um, I'm going to get another food building for sure. I, I, I need to take advantage of that for sure, I think. And then I'll get something for more public order around here. Because I know you, I'm going to grab that because you'll get a ton of food from that. Uh, the other building I want to grab is usually it's, let's see, so it's, we'd probably want to grab a pigsty. No, no, the, the sheep herd. Sheep herd will also have its... Oh, yeah, because you get even more money for animal husbandry, too. Yeah, so we'd get... Technically, I'd get more food with the pigsty. But this will give me more money with the sheep herd. And it does give more money per fertility level than this one. So eventually... This one would give a 110. This would give 150. But this one would give 320 for animal husbandry. This one would give 600 for animal husbandry. Yeah. 
So I, I'd rather get the sheep farm here, I'd say. So like basically you and you. Although yeah, I just want that food. Yeah, so let's go let's go with that. Go with that. And then hopefully you guys don't attack this turn. I'm gonna hope they give me some time. Unforeseen complications. That's not what I wanted you to do, my good sir. But I need to have you just keep using more points up anyways, so just keep trying. Just uh Let's have you now do gather support instead. So just keep trying to use up your points so you have less uh, points than me. That way your loyalty will go up. Alrighty, they are going to be attacking Garnas here. They only outnumber me 3 to 1, which is not bad. The terrain is this one. So if they, I hope they attack on this side. This side has a really good spot for my uh, barricade. So I want to try and just see what damage we can do. I have my other army from Keef. They're making their way up here. So they can retake this territory if they if they do win this fight. That's not too big of an issue. I just need to try and do what damage we can. Because this area is the one spot they could have taken out of the two areas they're trying to siege. So we have to see what we can do here. The, the, the quality of the troops, they're, they're really beat the fuck. They are really beat to hell. I I might be able to do this. It's, it's, um, it's possible. Uh, if I... Because I know from this layout, I can get a really good spot for my barricade up here. And if I can just like hold them at bay here and just sh keep shooting into that spot, I can do a lot of damage. So they're all on this side. So it doesn't have you guys in the spot I want it to be at. I still I still have a, a catapult. So what I want to do is I want to try and... Well, actually, I should try and hit the ladders because the ladders are going to die more quickly than the siege towers. But I... I want to pull back here. I hate that they're not attacking this side. This side is a really good spot for the barricade. Um, I can put, I'm still gonna put. I think we are gonna try and hold the safe center more. So like, I'm gonna have you guys like right here. Oh, my spearmen grouped up here. Of my javelins over here, and then I'll have my archers here, and ideally. We can hold them here. I'll have then... Let's see. So... What would be the axeman we could possibly get rid of? I'll put the... I'll put the uh, the catapult right here. So put that there. And then you... Uh, should be able to try and destroy... Like, let's try and hit this one. Because the ladders will break a lot faster. So let's try and go right about... The enemy has reinforcements. There. Because this should be able to break it. Well, I didn't hit it, but I hit the units. That's not bad. So we'll keep trying to just hit these, do what damage we can to the ladders. The reinforcements they have, at least they should tire themselves out. I'm just hoping, like, they're, they're probably going to take this. But if we can do a good amount of damage to one of the armies, I'll be very happy with this fight here. Because I have another force on the way. So we should be able to easily try and uh, take the city back, but if we just can minimize the troops they have, that'd be better. Go that, hit that. And then, come on, I want to try and get a couple more shots before they get here with this one. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, right there. <laughs> hey, I hit somebody! Hey, it worked. Okay. Uh, the catapult is now fucked. So the catapult's dead. Let you just try and do what damage you can with the towers here. And then we're just trying to hold back here. So like, yeah, like this barricade here with the crossbows. Try and do what you can if they start making their way up this way. And then I'm hoping that we can just hold nicely back here. Because if we can hold the walls, if we can funnel them. I'm just trying to do as much damage as possible. Like they've lost about 20 guys already. Crossbows are starting to open fire now. If so crossbows, just fire into whoever you can. Well, we've got the barricades. They're not making their way forward just yet. I think they're waiting for the reinforcements. Okay, so now, start unloading into these javelinsmen. Do what damage you can, guys, over here. They're starting to make their way over here. This is the fun bit. They have a lot of cavalry. I've got some spearmen. You guys are already in your shield wall. Just hold the best you guys can. God, I don't like that you guys are already breaking over here. Because reform. You guys should be able to keep firing. Do you guys have that much cover on this thing? No, you don't. <laughs> Wish you guys did. But, you know, just keep trying to fire into this guy. 
We've been able to do so far about 100 kills so far. Not the worst. Like, th this area is doing really well. This area is doing really well over here. Doing some good damage to their cavalry. Yep, javelins just keep doing what you can. The more men we can break, the better. If you're about to win over here against this guy. Then once this javelin's dead, I can then try and bring you guys back over here to help out. Javelins, if you can, specifically. Try and take out the general. Uh, fuck. Yeah, spearmen are breaking. Enemy general's dead, though. I've been able to take out, like, 300 guys. You're almost done with those javelins over there. Oh, one of my guys was shattered. Come on, keep holding. The longer we can hold this, the better. Crossbows, archers. Yeah, just do what damage you can. You guys are... Yeah, they're almost out of ammo over here, so you've almost finished off that unit. And yeah, now you're fighting in melee now. At least... I'm gonna get, like, 400 kills. About 400 kills for this is not bad. I think mean, it's better than what the auto-resolve would have given me. Yeah, because, like, you guys... Yeah, just keep firing. Yeah, I think 400 is the most we're gonna get. Maybe 500? Like, you guys can get over here and start helping out, too. But now they're starting to get in melee here. They're starting to fight you guys. So you guys aren't gonna be able to shoot as much. No, we almost got 600 kills. Yeah, crossbows start firing. Yeah, they got the victory point, so it's now just a matter of time until we lose. But, I just need you guys to do as much damage as you possibly can, and take out as many of them as you possibly can. That's all we're hoping for. Like, you try and back up. Let that other guy fight. So we just want to keep firing. Oh, they're chasing you. I almost took out half their army. That's not bad. That that is not bad. This was this was probably the best we could have done with this defense. My guys are about to start breaking now any second now. Yeah, there we go. Not bad. It says decisive, but that was good. That that was good. I took out almost okay, they only lost four hundred guys, actually. I hate you. <laughs> Gabe, you made it look like they were about to lose like six hundred guys. This is still four hundred casualties is not bad. Um the the AI uh the the auto resolve would have made me only kill like one to two hundred, I think. So yeah, they lost 400 guys, we've got 1,000 left. I should have enough movement with my army that's nearby that we can hit that this next turn, and they're gonna die. So you took that. I did kill- I killed both their generals. Hell yeah. Killed both their generals, not bad. Yep, they'll take that territory back. My army should have enough movement though, so I don't think I care. Kiev is dead. Yeah, you again. Just oh, there's a thing going on. Enemies in high places. Um, yeah, you you're the one that I want to use up your points. So do whatever it takes. So again, hi. Fuck off. Especially with you guys keep just taking attrition. Once I take the city back, you just shouldn't be an issue. So you now. Yep, I have just enough movement. So push on over here. They did not get any replenishment. Hell yeah, they don't even have their generals yet right now. Oh no, they do. Yeah, they do. Okay, so we're definitely going to fight that in just a second. I need to make sure first and foremost, you guys get over here. Because you need to try and help out around Kiev to please make sure it's not going to rebel. Because if it rebels, uh, I just lose the territory because I do not have anything around there. But yes, let's go there and there. 17. Okay, that's better. Just need to kind of convert it. Come on, get over here. There we go. So now it's at... Well, still only 17? Why are you not giving me a public order for this? Okay, uh, well, let's try, I want to start trying to convert this building. Um, convert that. Research-wise. I didn't think I'm now going to get this jousting this thing. I think we should now kind of actually focus on my... Let's see, upkeep for mercenaries. Pull out times. Yeah, upgrade the Stronghold 3. Yeah, let's, let's start trying to go for this research now. So you can do that. These guys... Yeah, you're just both deployed over here. That'll delay it, and now that you're here, you'll start converting the area. Which, that's the biggest issue. Oh, it's gonna go up like 8%. Yeah, there you go. Because religious differences is the biggest one. Instability is another. I can exempt you guys from taxes, and that would help a little bit. You do give me like 800 gold, though. I'm not gonna hold off on that for right now. 
But okay, so no, let's do uh, let's do this fight now around here. We need to reclaim this territory, and then that was the one that gave me. Oh yeah, makes it so it's even faster to build my religious buildings. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Wait now, let's start this battle once more to eliminate you guys once and for all. Because once I take this, then they only have that tiny little army to the south. Which, once I take this city, that one will start taking attrition again. Alrighty, so let's see. So, let's start deployment. I'm going to have it so we're not going to fight on this side, because I know how painful that can be. We're going to go over here, because at least in the barricade is a little bit further away. So, let's move my artillery pieces. You guys off to this side. So, right there. Infantry. Group you guys up. Crossbows. Group you guys up. And then cavalry. Group you guys up. Let's start the battle. Get you guys to start taking out the towers, first and foremost. Take the towers out, and then we can start trying to have it so that we can make my way in. They do have reinforcements also that are supposed to be coming in. Yep, there they are. So actually, I think my cav can probably run on over here and kill these guys. Because most of these units are not that strong. So like if I actually do this, if I go like right here, right here, and right here, I can actually try and have it. So I think for right now, let's have my cav try and take out their cavalry. And then uh, we can just kill these guys off pretty easily as they're making their way up to the city. Artillery pieces just, yeah, take out the towers, take out the gate, and then I'll have you like break down some wall sections around here uh, after that. But in the meantime, though, we'll have it so, let's see, like two of you go over here. You guys just charge in immediately. You guys try and get around him. Hello, Mr. Cav unit. I would like to fight you. Infantry, get in position there. Yep, go for this, go for this calf. Actually, you guys can go for this one, maybe. Because most of their calves beat up. The general's the only one that actually has high health. So infantry, make your way forward. All of you guys probably just running up as me immediately as well. Just keep trying to make your way up here. Same thing with you guys. Yeah, because you guys will absolutely destroy them since they have, like, so few men right now. So you can easily take these guys out. There we go. Broken, broken. Break those guys. Axe, I'm going to get on in here to help out and flank this guy. So right there. The Spearman, yeah, actually has quite a bit, but their cav is basically destroyed. Enemy gates are destroyed. Uh, towers. I'm going to just ignore the towers for right now, just because I know these walls are actually... They've got a decent amount of guys on them, so I want to shoot them. So you guys go there. Uh, how about over here? Yeah, how about against the general's bodyguard? You two help out against these cav units, too. You guys get up here. Crossbows are still making their way in position. Amy General's bodyguard, though, is now surrounded. He will die to our forces. He's our, oh, he's already running. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, don't, don't let him escape. Take him out. And then they're just trying to uh, focus on these infantry units. You guys go here. Cavalry, all of you guys try and focus on the General's bodyguard. Try and, try and focus him down. Uh, you two. Go up here. You three up here. Yeah, because cavalry, just try and focus on him. Run him off the map, if anything at all, at least, basically. Yeah, a chunk. Their units are breaking there. Let's see you. Go up here. Here. You three go for this one. There we go. He's now dead. Now it's going to push around the backside. So you can go here, here. You're actually the one I want to go back for this way. You go there. Beautiful. So now most of the enemy army is right here, actually. This was the, the tougher of the two units. So now, with you guys all surrounding them, uh, it should not take us long to finish you guys off. Right there, right there. I don't even think I need to use my cab. You guys are... Almost done with these wall sections. They've only got about 800 guys now at this point. Unless these guys are all dead. Um, let's see, two of you go for that general. The rest of you kind of charge over here. Try and finish these guys off. Because we've at least got the one gate open. Uh, this wall section is about to break. Should be like one more volley. And I've killed a couple of them in those shots. And I still have plenty of ammo with my artillery pieces. You guys go there. Okay, that's pretty much now all of them here. Let's make sure these guys properly shatter. Take it over there. General as well. 
infantry, I can start making you guys casually walk over this way now. So just casually walk over. Same with my crossbows. We've basically destroyed this force. Just my cav can finish them off. So you finish those guys off right there. And then uh, that wall is destroyed. Now I'll try and break this wall because it just needs a couple more hits. And I don't think they have all that much. No, they have like 400 guys left. So they've almost lost all their troops that are in the city now too as well. Because th this army here is the one that's like going to get destroyed. I wonder if they might just break instantly due to the fact that like, oh, I've actually got like good troops here. Let's try and take out some of the towers. Might as well, just to minimize damage. So, you guys can just use the rest of your ammo to try and do that. And you guys all done over here? Yeah. Cav's done with them. So, Cav, let's get you guys kind of running over here. Because I would say for right now, uh, Cav, just run to the safe center, basically. I don't see a reason to do anything else. Try and see if you can get the other tower, too. Crossbows. Move forward. I can now basically have it so uh, Swordsman go over here. Axeman try and go forward. I saw the general's bodyguard. He disappeared. I would like to try and focus on him with my Axeman. There he is. So Axeman focus on him. Cav. If you guys can, focus on him. General's bodyguard, you can try and go for the safe center. So try and take these guys out. Crossbows. Hey, you guys can start firing. Infantry. Hey, you guys try and go around this right side here. I've got all my cav trying to focus on the general's bodyguard. And then my general, once you're done with this swordsman, which is not many of them. Actually, can you just run past him? If you can just run past him, I'm going to have you, because then I can just have you just... Yeah, there you go. Yeah, just go to capture the safe side. Since we already know where the general's bodyguard is, we don't really care about this. So yeah, just run over here. Strain tarts capturing that. The general's losing to my cav. My infantry is now over here. Took you guys long enough to get here, so let's just kind of... Spread you guys out. Since so many of these guys are really beat up. So just like go here. Here. And here. Axeman though, yeah. Just try and help out in the general's bodyguard. Because he's almost dead. Oh, actually there was a second one. I forgot about that. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, back away from that. Uh, 1v1, it's going to be difficult. So I'm going to pull back here. There we go. Yeah, now they're starting to crumble. It's like you... There. Cavalry. Okay, so those guys are almost all dead. Cav, let's have you focus on finishing off the basic units. Axemen, let's get you guys to go up to the city center. Same with my infantry, basically. You're trying to help slowly get rid of these guys. And there we go. So now, we've been able to reclaim this city again. God, they really like to fight around this one so often. Uh, they have, like, nothing left now. At this point in time, we were able to take out the army that was outside. And uh, now, Heroes of the Rus. Fitting name for the army that finally just died to me. Now, they just have the one little army that is uh, to the south, but now that I took the city back, again. <sighs> for the most part now, it should be uh, that that one will start taking attrition and dying. So, let's just occupy this area once more. Repair it once more. So now we'll just have to have it so yeah, keep trying to build this area up, and then hopefully... Hoping you guys will be okay over here. I do need to try and convert this. If I save up my money next turn, I'll have... If I can go to this one. Yeah, that one looks cheap enough. Because then I'll be able to convert this over, get a little bit more, uh, then I'll be able to have a defense, and hopefully you guys then won't rebel. I I'm hoping that, like, I just need the... Um, I, j I just need to get the conversion going. So once we get the conversion going in Kiev... We should be okay, and it's going up rather nicely, so let's see. This will take three turns until this finishes up. That'll help. This at the moment, uh, I just need to get you converted over here, but that'll be next turn that I can do that. But no, now it's just uh, this army here is the only one left. You are going to be taking attrition now that you have no territory once again. He's probably going to try and go here once more. That's fine. Let me make sure to try and repair this stuff. Oh, if I repair it all, though. Uh... You're fine. I, I need the money. I need the money so I can actually build, uh, try and convert over the stuff in Kiev. Yeah, they're sieging my stuff again. That's fine. Um, so at the moment... Oh, no. Oh, actually, I've got uh, another worthy bride. Let's see. So... No. <laughs> She's really bad. No, I'm intervening on that, man. Okay. Also, I will need to make sure that, again... I need to keep trying to do stuff with you. 
For right now, though, let's see. Uh, he's almost there. Yeah, let's have you keep trying to get... I want to have you try and do the embezzle fun stuff. So try and do that. Also, can I get any of you guys? Let's see, so you're a general right now. You already have a point there. Uh, you are a governor. Let's see, I want to try and get you this. And you are also a governor, but you do not have enough points because you finally got a wife. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but now... Oh, no. <laughs> uh, just keep pushing them back. I, I can just ignore that army for right now. Kiev, it's a minus 12. It's getting better. It was minus 17 last turn. Um, I can start converting this. And then also... If I exempt you guys from tax... Be at 93 there. Or I can just move this army over. Which this area is still pissed off. But I think we'll just move you over this way. So make your way over here. It, it's going to be a little bit of consolidation for now at this point in time. Because like this army is not a threat. I have my force coming over this way. I'm basically going to have you uh, try and make your way over here. I'm going to have you be the one that like switch who's controlling who. So Because I always want my king to control this army. So I'll switch who can, who's controlling who. I got rid of the other armies around here for right now, because I don't really need them. So you keep trying to make your way over around here. They want you to go up and around, so I want to try and go around there. That way I can still encamp stance. And then just keep trying to put my push my way forward. Uh, you guys have now switched your religion. Interesting. Sea sales where it's completed. That was built up there. I don't have enough money to do anything about that, though. Political turmoil. I don't like that. Actually, if that's the case, I should probably have it. So I want you to do embezzle funds, but let's just have you again gather support. This should be probably the last time, because that, that one costs, what, yeah, 56 points? Yeah, that should get me just lower than me, and then I should hopefully be able to stay ahead of him. But if anything at all, at least he's on my side, so I can just tell him to use up his points. Oh, now they're finally attacking proper. I'm just going to the resolve resolve list. Oh no, you attacked me for the seventh fucking time! <laughs> and finally committed to the fight. Did I lose anybody? Ah, I did lose in my units. That's okay, though. Uh, well, let's just take the, uh... Yeah, take on the warriors. Get the replenishment, I feel like. But there! They are now officially dead. I need to consolidate. Uh, we're definitely going to be trying to just build up the territories that we have for a little bit now at this point in time before I start trying to advance into my next territory. But at that point in time, you guys are now dead. Uh, healthy, food shortage resolve, yep. Imminent, imminent rebellion, yep, I know. That is why I brought this army over. So you can get into Kiev. Because then that will make it so you guys are just fine. Now it's going to start going up. Let's see, I probably don't need you guys. Well, I need you here for the conversion. This area's at minus 13. Uh, if I get this stuff built up, you guys should be fine. Let's see, that costs 4,000, 7,000. I can get one of you right now. This takes longer to build, so get that started first. Uh, and we did secure those positions. Beautiful. And now, let's see, you are just barely below me in terms of that. So now you are actually loyal once again. Beautiful. Okay. But for right now, though, uh, at this point in time, yeah, I'm just going to have us probably... I'm gonna, I want to do like a turn or two of properly trying to see what I can do to get these areas happier. Because probably what we'll do is actually... Um, we need to repair this stuff, and you guys should be okay, I think. Sanitation's still a bit of an issue. Devastation, to province. Religious differences is only two. Devastation is three of that. So I think without this army in there, you guys might be okay. Especially if I can build this stuff back up. Um, as what we're going to do is I'll probably bring you over here maybe to watch over this territory. You'll switch out who's commanding that. I'm now making more money. Um, I'm glad this worked out with the whole idea with you. How many turns until I can start annexing you? Because I do want this territory. So for 14 turns. 14 turns. In the meantime, just we trade with me, I guess. Just, sure. just trade so I get money from you. So trade with me in the meantime, but I will be annexing uh, Villainous because I do not want you guys to control that. I do. Wise to seek cooperation Scotland. I see you've got a lot of land over there. 
hopefully you guys hold that because I I'm now starting to trade with you, and I really want to get to the point where eventually trade income, especially with long term partners, can be amazing. So Scotland, please ally with me, whatever. Just keep being happy with me, and I will be able to start making so much money with you. Also looking at it, I may have to start fighting the Empire of Trebizond soon. It looks like they might be the next big person for us to fight, possibly. Seeing as how at the moment, uh, they control quite a bit, actually. So they control, yeah, like st all of this. And that's a lot of the land I want. I could probably have it so I go a bit more to the east. Because, yeah, you guys control some land over there. You actually control quite a bit. Or be um, Bulgaria. I go down further here. That'd be towards, uh, oh my god. <laughs> Bulgaria has a lot of land. I don't know if I want to fight Bulgaria right now. But they do have a lot over there. Oh, the Ottomans actually formed. Oh, shit. The Ottomans actually formed down there. Interesting. Okay. Well, for right now, though, I think I just want to get, like, one more turn in. Again, I want to get, like, a little bit of consolidation here. Um, so let's have it so... Again, let's switch who's controlling what army. So just switch the lords. That's who I want to switch. I'll just basically just switch the entire armies. There we go. So that way, you can turn back around. You'll go eventually build up a new force. I do think you guys don't need to sit here, but like next turn, I'll probably send you up this way. Um, I will start building up you to get a little bit more over there. And then you finally ranked up as well. So you need to get... Oh, actually, you're already maxed out, basically. Otherwise, I just want to get you better stats, because that's all, the, all that we really can do with you. I do have a population surplus over here. Um, I don't have the money for it right now. I'm going to need to get you guys that at some point. Some Islam. Build some stuff up there. Mission... Uh, let's see. So be... Yeah, I'm, I'm already trying to do that. I'm already trying to do that. We have 10 turns. And I'll get more Osmosis, which I would be... I would love that. Which, at the moment, uh, this area is converting... Let's see. At about 6% per, per turn. So that's actually going up really nicely. Ah, you guys even want to offer him bride here. And some money, too. I'll uh, gladly accept that uh, for the temporary amount of time that I'm going to be keeping you guys around. Because I know eventually, like, as soon as I can, I'm annexing. I'm just going to annex Vilnius. I only gave it up because of the whole fact I didn't want the the forces of the Khanate to uh, go attack it. So, hey, I'll take some free money and another marriage. I wonder what's going to happen when I vassalize them. Like, what's going to happen to her when I do that? But I do think this will probably be a pretty good place to end now at this point. Got their population surplus, but before I forget that, let's build this up. Uh, you guys here definitely need more food. So I will say uh, get another food building around here. And then I had a population surplus up over here. You guys... Purple Gore is actually doing pretty good. I do need a religious building over here, so grab that. And then at this point in time, uh, mission issued, assassin's following character. I actually can do that now. So that is a character... Oh, wait, why... You want me to assassinate a character over here? Why? Those are my dudes. Ah, uh, but that would be nice. <laughs> okay, I, I'm not going to do that. But for right now, though, I do think this will probably be a pretty good place to end for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love what you guys have to say about this campaign. Any thoughts have in general? This is Rampaign. I'll see you guys next time.